What are you looking at here? This is a coin photography machine. Magnificent. Typically you'd actually use this in quite a dark room because you want as little light interfering with your shots. But I'm going to turn the lights on now so that we've got a better view of it. Okay, here we are. And you can see here is the front light. And in here is a sheet of glass. And then underneath it has a backlight. Here's a touch screen and up here is the camera. So I'm going to show you the separate parts now and break this down a little bit. Okay, here's a closer view. But I'm going to take these off and just put them aside and then show you this removable front light. So you can see here, this whole thing just comes off and it sits in this little, uh, in this little groove here. So it just slides in and you can adjust the, uh, the distance. You have this sheet of glass here. And so what's really cool about that is when the camera takes a picture, it shoots through the glass, but some of the light actually hits the glass and reflects down. What this means is you get a beautifully evenly lit surface of the coin. So here's a bit of a close up inside the shooting area. You've got this, uh, this plinth here and it's raised up off the backlight so that when you take a picture of a coin on top of the plinth, the background is blurry because I'm using a macro camera up here. So yeah, it has a very narrow focusing range and it'll only focus on the, the coin in here. If you take a look at this, it's actually removable, so it just sits on a little magnet and I can swap it out. Another one, so I've got a green one, there's a blue one which you just saw, and there's a red one. And they're all different sizes, so I'll show you why they're useful in a minute. Now if I just show you a slightly different angle, you can actually see the reflection here. If I remove this glass, you can see in the back, it's got a soft black backlight here. And this just catches any stray light and diffuses it and stops it reflecting back onto the coin. Yeah, so this whole section slides back and forwards as needed. And this can adjust where the reflected light from here will bounce onto. At the top here, you've got the camera, obviously. It's a pretty basic Canon body with a nice 100mm macro lens you can actually adjust the position of the camera. Now, something I haven't showed you yet is the touchscreen display. So in here, I've built a custom app which manages this whole configuration. And there's one thing I haven't mentioned yet. So underneath here, you have some digital scales that weigh whatever you put on this plinth. And then in here, you have a small Raspberry Pi, which is just a little computer and the computer is able to pick up the weight and it's also able to control the brightness of this light and the backlight. You can operate it by touch so you've got some basic controls in here like shoot for example to shoot the camera but you can also adjust the brightness of the lights so if I tap here a few times you'll see the brightness gets dimmed or if I want to do the backlight I can up that as well and there's also a pretty neat option just to tear the scales. These chips, they're different colours and when the app takes a picture graph, a picture graph, huh? When the app takes a picture of one of these chips, it sees the colour and it sees, oh that one's red, that one's blue, that one's green. So let me show you. So here you can see it's a blue chip and I'm going to prove this. It saved it. The camera has been calibrated essentially. I can measure the coins now that I'm photographing because I know the exact size of the blue chip so I can use it as a reference. Right, so that's all ready. What do we do now? Well, we can start photographing coins. So here's a few coins I'm gonna photograph now. So I'm gonna put the coin in. So I'm gonna shoot and wait for this to load. And now I'm gonna flip the coin while I wait, so that I can photograph the other side. There it is, looks beautiful. So I just need to check the weight at the top and the size and it all looks good, so I can approve that. So I've already flipped the coin, so all I need to do is shoot. And there it is, looks great. The data looks good, the picture looks clean, approve. Hey, this is fun, let's keep going. I've got another coin here that I'm gonna photograph. Okay, I've put the coin in, I'm going to shoot, and I can flip that again. Wow, look at that, it looks great. 
approve that, shoot again. There it is, looks awesome. And now I'm gonna put the final coin in. Gonna shoot that. And flip it while I wait. Looks good. Okay, that's all the coins done now. And there it is. So you can see how quick and easy this is. And I've got them all here. But there's one last step. So to get these uploaded onto plunder.co, I need to select them. And I can rotate them a little if they're not perfectly aligned. I just need to double check everything and press submit. And then I can do the same for all of these. Just tweaking the rotation if necessary, checking the data, and yeah, this final step will let me create the items in plunder.co. So there they are, three coins uploaded. And so there's one last step, which is to inventory the coins or store them. So I'd pop the coin into an envelope and I'd take the stamp and I'd just stamp a number onto it. And that number is also stored in the database on plunder.co along with the coin so that I can link them up later. Here you've basically just got all of the archived coins so far. There's about 2,500 so far. But yeah, there's a huge box of coins I need to process. Great big box of old coins. These are just waiting to be photographed. Well, there's all sorts in here. And here's another one with some stamps as well. And uh, yeah, even more coins down there. Oh, what's this? I missed another bag. Some nice silver ones there. I'm just going to take this apart quickly and show you how this works under the hood. And turn it on its face. Let's crack it open. Okay, this will just come off now. We've got an Arduino and this feeds in via USB to the Raspberry Pi. On here I have some software and that talks to this chip here and this is a chip that controls the digital scales here. So this is a pressure sensor and along with this chip it can feed a weight into the Arduino which I then send via USB to the computer, to the app and then the app uploads it to the internet. And here we've got just a little circuit and on the circuit I've got some MOSFETs. These are all wired up to, I think they're called GPIO pins. Anyway, it's wired up to pins on the Arduino and then the Arduino via the MOSFET, the MOSFETs can control the brightness of the LEDs and you can see the two because you've got the backlight and the front light. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and I almost forgot to say, the backlight is underneath this, so glued onto the other side of this plate you have a load of LEDs. And so yeah, here are the pictures. Um, you can see they're very nice quality. I can click on them on the plunder.co site and zoom in and sort of drag the, the viewing area around. Um, yeah, you can see they're super sharp, beautiful quality, and yeah, just nothing's lost. Very even light. It's uh, really lovely to look at. I mean, look at this dragon. And here's the other coin. Um, this one I think maybe overexposed it slightly, but yeah, just beautiful coins and yeah, nice quality, nice quality uh, coming out of that machine. And uh, yeah, the last one's here. Um, this is Alexander the Great coin, and at some point someone sold something on here. You can actually see quite in in depth the, the soldering um, there's blobs of solder all over here but uh, I'm getting distracted um, yeah so that's the items in the plunder.co site and that's the machine thanks for checking out the video